The humanities help us understand and interpret the human experience as individuals and groups from local and global perspectives. And in challenging times, they help us contend with uncertainty, loss, and upheaval, and inform our most critical decisions. Drawing on insights handed down across the centuries, we're better able to contextualize our current experience, empathize with others, and find the means for endurance and discovery. As it was everywhere else, life at the center in 2020-2021 was profoundly affected by the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Access to the center's facilities was limited, and fellows and staff worked under strict protocols to protect one another against the virus. Personal interactions were conducted primarily by video conference, as were all our public events. Yet in spite of these challenges, center staff and fellows were determined to foster the kind of supportive and intellectually productive environment for which we have been known for over 40 years. The community of fellows working at the center in 2020-21 was as prodigious as any group before, working on projects that will shape our thinking about a wide variety of topics. Their fascinating work is already being added to that of other fellows in the Robert F. and Margaret S. Goheen collection at the center, including volumes on Shakespeare's personal life, a collection of modern slave narratives, and the history of court eunuchs in the Qing dynasty. Meanwhile, the center's education programs continue to support teachers who have faced unprecedented challenges delivering high-quality, historically accurate content through our courses, webinars, and our new Humanities in Class Digital Library. Launched in the second half of 2020, the Digital Library allows teachers to access educational resources from the Center and dozens of other quality content partners. The library also allows teachers to combine those resources to create custom lesson plans and classroom materials and to share them with other educators. The COVID pandemic may have forced us to curtail in-person events at the center, but we have treated this obstacle as an opportunity to innovate and to enhance our online efforts to share humanity's perspectives with public audiences. We launched a year-long series of virtual events featuring fellows discussing their recent work and also conversing about topics of current interest. In a difficult year, we have been reminded again and again that our shared commitment to research and education, as well as our commitment to engaging the public, makes a compelling difference. We are deeply grateful to all of you who have supported the Center with your contributions, your partnership, and your encouragement. They have been a constant affirmation of how much the humanities matter and of the larger community of which we gladly are a part.